Welcome back to the show. Joining me on the couch right now, we've got Stephen Whit, mate. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. Hit me up, mate. Nice. Um, good to see you. Yeah. Yeah, likewise, I suppose. Yeah, likewise. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't really know you. No, nah, well, let's get to know each other a little bit better. That sounds good. Um, now, you're coming in to talk uh, about your show coming up in the uh, Comedy Festival. Yep. Uh, now, it's called Odd. Mm -hmm. Tell me a bit about it, bro. Yeah, so it's um, it's it's quite a buzzy one. It's pretty... Uh, it's e actually easier to explain what it isn't. It's, okay, um, let's do that. It's quite... Uh, it's non-traditional, so it isn't traditional stand-up, yep. but it is still stand-up. But it's quite uh, bizarre, but not ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Like, it's not over the top trying to be different. Okay, I think you summed it up well with the the title of then because that, that's yeah, kind yeah. of it basically is what it is like a little bit there but it's not too much yeah just yeah, right yeah. yeah so it's pretty um uh it's it's strangely normal i think is what it is okay yeah so you'll come along and you'll be sitting there trying to figure out who like who is this guy what what's he what's his shtick you know <laughs> um <laughs> But then about, probably about 10 minutes in, you'll start to go, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, and you'll start to get on a bit of a vibe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's quite a, um, a pleasant show and, uh, and also highly entertaining. Yeah, well, no doubt about that. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, you're, you're one of the five that are nominated for a Billy T Award this yeah. year. Yeah, so apparently I've come up with something quite good. Yeah, apparently. You, you must have. Mm. Um, and mm. so are you feeling the nerves with that or not? A little bit, yeah, a little bit. It's like, it's a mixture of, uh, of nerves and also excitement. Like, the fact that I get to present something that I've been working on for so long to like a, and, and know that I'm going to have a good crowd and a good turnout and stuff is really exciting. So I'm looking yeah. at it as like a great opportunity. And of course, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, bit, a bit nervous. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but it'll be all good. It's a good thing, man. Yeah, nice yeah. to be stoked. And so it's your show, it's not kind of improv it's you you it's, you know what you're going to do or I do yeah I mean I know what I, I know what my jokes are um and <laughs> <laughs> that's so good that's, that's the main thing yeah and the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing uh and just uh, yeah you know, I like little, that little ditty for you there um <laughs> but uh yeah so I know my jokes um but there is a bit of interaction as well yep. and I like to talk to the crowd a bit I like to um get a bit of a rapport going and that kind of makes everyone feel all good. You know, everyone in the room just sort of feels pretty comfortable once you start talking to them and you sort of break the ice. And, yeah. and, and if anything, you all kind of feel like you know each other by the end of the show a little bit more. So yeah. I'll definitely be talking to the crowd, improving a bit there, yeah. um, but also uh, delivering some, some A-class, top quality, of course, golden uh, material. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> and uh, for more information about how you can see uh, Odd, uh, make sure you hit up comedyfestival.co.nz. Uh, all the details are there. You're going to be hitting Wellington in Auckland. Yeah. Uh, Wellington from the 6th to the 10th of May. Auckland from the 13th to the 17th. So it's quite, you got quite a few shows, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's like 10 shows all up, like yeah. 10 performances of it. Yeah. And so one of the Billy T um, judges for the award will attend one of those shows? Is that yeah, I think a few works? of them will come, and they come sort of like a few nights in. So once you've warmed up a bit and you've, you've, you've found your... your your feet and uh, you know you got your own rhythm and everything then yeah they come and watch and and they judge you basically yeah. they're actually really judgmental <laughs> people it's their job <laughs> it's their job but um best of luck for that bro but on on top of uh your comedy side you've also uh you, you do a bit of uh clowning yeah that's is right is that what you would call it yeah 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 yep. so this has like been like the key ingredient to what's sort of shaped odd yeah you know the two kind of work hand in hand so yeah i'm a clown as well i'm a children's entertainer uh, some of you might know me as popcorn the clown um, like I've a, heard, I've heard, I didn't realise that was you. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. quite a buzz. When people find out, they're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I know you, I've seen you. <laughs> um, so yeah, and people sort of find that quite funny. But yeah, it's really, uh, it's, I love it. It's, like, it's really a passion of mine now, clowning, yeah. like, oddly enough. And it's not like old school, scary, crusty looking clowns. You know, we, we look pretty legit. And we have, we wear basically, we're like a colourful business suit. And it's really... Um, it's like real fun for the parents, real fun for the children. So it's like an all incorporating sort of show. Yeah. And this is all sort of um, like sort of set the foundation for my my comedy as well. Like everything is just sort of growing out of the clowning. Yeah. So yeah, odd is, a, is it's almost like a mixture of comedy and, and clowning. Yeah. Without all the the ridiculous colour and juggling and unicycles. That's awesome because I reckon if you perform to, to children as well, if you can entertain children, then you, you should be able to entertain anyone. Really. Basically. Yeah. 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 Oh, they're just, they're very simple children, so 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're adults, mate. So we're adults. And so, um, if, I mean, if people want to go to your show, odd, they can hit up comedyfestival.co.nz. If people want to sure. hire you as popcorn, what do we? Oh yeah, where um, do they go? go to cornflake.co.nz. Boom. So I'm popcorn the clown. Yeah. There's also cornflake the clown. Yeah. We're all named after corn. There's also fairy flakes, Captain Crunch. Yeah. And they're all funny as. Yes. But all, popcorn's all the best. Yes, yeah, popcorn's not. definitely the best. And it won't be awkward either if you do get me. Yeah, because a lot of people, times you hire them and they come there and then it's quite tense and awkward and you're like, oh, this is really weird. <laughs> but it's all good, yeah. They're all good. Um, if people want to keep in touch with you social media wise, uh, what, where can they go? Yeah, so I'm on Facebook as Stephen Witt. Uh, I'm not on Twitter, okay, I'm not that cool. Um, but uh, hit me up on Facebook and, and I'll. I'll Keep everything updated on there. Wicked. And I've also got a website, AucklandComedy.co.nz, which everything is on there too. So busy man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty full on. Tbh. Bro, best of. <laughs> I love the abbreviations. But, um, best of luck for everything coming up, man, Thanks, and, man. and the Billy T Award. Thank Appreciate you so it. much for coming in and having a chat to hey, us. My pleasure. Stephen Absolutely. White, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, we've got a song from P Diggs and uh, at PNC. It's called Right.